Hello, is this Mike Shank? Yeah, who's this? This is Dustin Wellness from KMSU Radio. Oh, hi. How you doing? Good. Is it a good time to uh, talk to you for a little bit? Sure. Okay, well, I'm here with my co-host, Tun. Hey, man, how you doing? Good. Glad to hear it. Well, if you don't mind, we have a, just a couple questions for you. Okay. Okay, well, uh, first of all, how did you... Uh, meet up with uh, Mark Bouchard and start making the films when you guys were younger? Well, when we were younger, um, I used to party a lot, and um, I, haven't par- I haven't drank or got high now in uh, over 16 years, but at the time I was quite a heavy partier, and no one was, none of my friends, they all like, didn't want to party as much as I did, but Mark was, they didn't want to drink vodka as much vodka as I did, but Mark was always willing to drink as much vodka as I was willing to drink, so... Um, we'd hang out, and then uh, we just kind of became friends that way. <laughs> okay. And I had met him at a, one of his friends' uh, parties. Sounds like a tight bond. The yeah, bond. it was at the time, yeah. Well, we're, we're still friends. I still see him and talk to I t- still talk to him every day and see him, like, you know, a couple times a week. Okay. Did you guys make quite a quite a few films when you guys were younger then? Uh, Mark was making quite a few uh Films when he's younger, yeah. Um, and uh, we've done a lot of films recently, besides American Movie too. Um, is it okay if I mention my um, my website? Yeah, I'm definitely. On the web. Yep. Yeah. Um, my website is uh, MikeShanksWorld.com. My ex-wife Kate made that, and we're still friends too. And um, if you go to um, the Shanks. YouTube, you can see 29 YouTube videos that my ex-wife Kate also put on the web, too. I just wanted to mention those. Okay. Now, you were talking about American Movie. When you guys were uh, being filmed and that, was it weird to have the people following you around all the time, filming and stuff? Well, yeah, we, we you know, I, uh, it, was, uh, it wasn't it uh, was scripted or nothing like that, but we, of course, knew that the cameras were there, you know, and, um, it was, it was more fun than weird, you know, we had a really good time, and uh, after we won uh, first place in the Sundance Film Festival, um, uh, Sony sent us on a four-month tour of America and, and sent us to a few other countries and uh, on a press tour, and that was really fun, and uh, I got an opportunity to, like, hang out with almost every cool band I can think of, because I used to have a number in my in my in my uh, bedroom, 466 Mike, where my fans could call me that went to my AmericanMovie.com, and uh, I got called by, like, every cool band I can think of that wanted to hang out with me, you know, and then I got an opportunity to be in uh, other movies and stuff like that, too, and I was on a couple NFL commercials, and I'm on the special features of Jason X, and I'm in a Todd Solance movie and some other movies. So you'd say your life has changed quite a bit since American Movie. Yeah, it, it changed quite a bit, yeah, and, uh, and stuff. But seeing uh, Clean and Sober changed my life quite a bit, and also winning uh, the Sundance Film Festival changed my life quite a bit, yeah, and, uh, and stuff, yeah. Now, did you guys ever end up finishing the film, Northwestern, that you guys were working on? Um, no, we haven't. We haven't finished it yet because Mark's a little low on money, and uh, he just, you know, I don't have the money to finish it right now. Okay. Now Can you make some my CDs too. Yeah, definitely. Well, how did you? Uh, yeah. How did oh, you get ahead. about starting with uh, playing music and stuff like that? Well, when I was a, a little kid, my uncle gave me my first guitar when I was like five years old, and by the time I was like eight or nine, I was taking guitar lessons, and then I, I took guitar lessons uh, throughout my life, and uh, now I got like 20 minutes worth of songs, mostly classical songs that I play, um, you know, when I'm bored, and I want to I wanna keep adding to the amount of songs that I got memorized, you know, I can play the ones I got memorized now blindfolded, you know, I got like a six minute fugue by Bach memorized but I do, the one that I do in American movies blindfolded, Yeah, that's like six minutes long and then some chord classicals and uh, some, you know and I want to keep on adding to uh, the amount of songs that I have memorized so I want to like, next time I'm at a store I want to look through some magazines or something and try and find some new songs for it and the most recent one I learned was uh, Unforgiven 2 off Death Magnetic by Metallica and I ended up uh, hanging out with a bass player, Metallica, Jason, who said three times, you know. 
Yeah. So you uh, we're going to mention your CDs. You're selling them on your website, right? Mike yeah, Shanks if you World? go to MikeShanksWorld.com, you can buy all three of my CDs. There's uh, Songs I Know, Dreams I Know, and Classical Songs I Know. Songs I Know is uh, 81 songs, and I mean 80 minutes of music and 31 songs. And that has uh, Richard Christie, the drummer of Ice Surf and Control Denied and stuff, and uh, also um, Shard Walls of the Damned uh, drumming on it, too. Mm-hmm. And then um, uh, Dreams I Know is me reciting my dream over guitar solos. At the time when I recorded that, I had practiced the guitar like nine and a half to 14 hours a day, so I was getting really good at it. So the wow. guitar work on Dreams I Know is really good. And then classical songs, I know that's just like um, 15 uh, classical songs that I play on there. That, that, that one's pretty good, too. And those are those are $10 a piece. You can buy them at MikeShanksWorld.com. Wow. We're going to have to check that out. Yeah. So um, besides the classical stuff, what would you say are some of your other influences as far as your music goes? Well, I like I I never I never really use a pick when I play. I I always play with my fingers, and uh, so I like anything that's hard to play. You know, um, because I I'm really good at reading notes. You know, I can read notes all over the fretboard, and I can my note reading is really good. So I really like to uh, usually the harder the song is to play, the more I like to play it. You know. Hmm. Okay. Well, is there anything that you're working on now? Any uh, you mentioned some uh, movies and stuff. Trying, uh, trying to grab some new songs to learn from somewhere. You know, I, I think uh, you know sometimes when I'm looking through a, a you know a magazine at the store or something that has a cool song I want to learn or something. You know, um, I just want to pretty much keep adding to the amount of songs that I that I know that I got memorized. You know, and uh, just uh, build on that 20 minutes that I got now. You know. Cool, man. Well. Uh, before we let you go, do you have any uh, parting words for us? Well, yeah, I, I guess so. You know, I, I was just in an AA meeting when you called, and, uh, you know, I'd just say if, if I'd give anyone any good advice, I'd just say don't drink or eat drugs because your life's a lot better without it. Awesome. Awesome, man. <laughs> All right, well, thanks so much for letting us talk to you. Okay, and thanks for interviewing me. No problem. No problem. Thanks, man. Have a good day. All right. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.